This is a brief tutorial on how to record video tutorials on either um, a PC or a Chromebook or any other device that you can uh, install uh, Google Chrome on. So first of all you need to have created a Google Plus profile from the school and you also need to have created um, a YouTube account and to do that you simply go to YouTube and sign into YouTube with your school account. When you create a YouTube account it will ask you to link um, your YouTube account to your Google Plus profile which you have to do for what we're about to do to work. So to record a tutorial you simply go into Google Plus, click on Home, click on Hangouts, click on Schedule a Hangout on Air, give your Hangout a name or your tutorial we we'll call it test tutorial. You can invite people to this tutorial if you want to. I would normally invite the group of people who it's aimed at. So I often do chemistry tutorials, so I have a Google Plus chemistry community and I would invite them and it will appear as an event on the community and it will also appear on their calendar, which is a useful thing to do. You can explain what it is about on there and you can schedule it to happen at a later date. If you don't want to do it now, you just want to have it there, it'll appear in your calendar and you can start it when you're ready at that point. I often do that so people know it's coming rather than just an impromptu thing. But this time we'll do now. And we'll click on share. You want to share it with at least somebody. So I'm going to share it with myself. That's my private account because I don't want to be sending an invite to this test one to anybody else. So it's just my private account then. But you would choose the people who you want to actually share it with. So I'll click on share. And we go to your test tutorial. You can turn on question and answer. If you turn on question and answer um, that opens up an app in the Hangout that allows people to ask questions via just typing in a question and then they can you can answer it if you want to. And this feeds into your YouTube channel so you'll have all of this recorded as a YouTube video and at that point people will be able to review those questions and answers um, if they want to. So it's a very useful thing to use if you're doing um, a webinar. So we're going to click on Start. This will open up the Hangout app. And at this point, you'll see um, the option to invite guests. So we need to invite somebody. So I'm going to just invite myself on my private account. Um, but again, I'd normally invite the chemists if I was doing this for school. Um, you can require guests to be 18 plus to join the video call. If you're doing this for school then you don't want to be doing that otherwise only um, older year 13s will be able to do it. So click on invite. At this point the hangout um, will start processing. So this will allow you to record what's going on. To start with it will be recording you. But you'll see this timer here, this percentage thing, and when it's on air this will go red indicating it's been recorded. While that's doing that there are a number of options down the side here. Um, you can, the Google Drive option is very useful because you can put documents and content from your Google Drive into the tutorial. Um, this is the question answer app. I haven't got that turned on at the moment but you can turn the question and answer app on after you've started it if you want to. And the one that I'm going to focus on using is screen share. So I'm going to start the broadcast and it will stay starting. At this point this is publicly broadcast on your YouTube channel and this is live now on YouTube. So all we have to do is if we want to do a tutorial about a particular application or something that's going on we can um, fire up screen sharing and I'm going to find something, ah oh, that's the one I want 
So if I go to screen sharing now, um, if you're on Windows, it will give you the option of screen sharing any active window that you've got open. Um, or you can do the whole screen. So the full screen is the default option. I often just share an active window. So I will have the Hangout um, window open in the corner so I can see the questions and answers. And I will have something like Paint for a tutorial. I'm just writing things down. Or perhaps a window for a tutorial. If you're on a Chromebook, the, the option is full screen. And that's it. I'm going to do that one and start screen sharing. So you'll see on the screen of the Hangout is the window that I've got open, which is this one here. And this is a student login, and um, this is the sort of thing where I might demonstrate how to use Snagit. And I can demonstrate Snagit, Snagit working in a window there. Or I can maybe demonstrate how to do something on uh, Google Drive or Calendar or whatever. And I can close that. And it goes back to me once you close that active window. So you can record what's on your screen um, and you can switch between windows as well which, and you can switch between you and those windows. Um, and you can have people interacting with this at the same time either with text questions and answers or they can join the um, hangout and they will appear as people down in this corner here and you'll see their faces and they'll be able to talk to you. You can mute these people or you can kick them off if you don't want them on your tutorial. That's up to you. And it's kind of really that easy. So if you click on stop broadcast, now we're off air. What will happen is that the video as part of this hangout um, will be processed and will appear in your YouTube channel um, within a few minutes typically. And close that and you'll see that this test tutorial now has a picture of me and you can immediately play back this tutorial um, broadcast on your YouTube channel and this is live like so. now on the full we'll screen, screen, where screen sharing I'm be somewhere in the do that and, and um, this is the sort of thing where I might demonstrate how to use now if we go on to my YouTube channel click on me click on video manager and what will appear here is a um, the video that you've recorded that one's not there yet but if you refresh this in a couple of minutes that video will be there this is one I did earlier today so that's really all there is to to recording a tutorial and um, doing a webinar you can screen share you can present documents from your drive, you can have question and answer sessions, you can have video question and answer sessions where people come in and join you. If you want any further help with that or just want to just go for a hands-on demonstration and sort of practice at doing it, um, let me know. But once you've started, done it a couple of times, it's really very easy. The video that you've got in your YouTube channel, you can then put on sites, uh, you can put post into communities, you can do whatever you want with it really. You can delete it if you don't like it, you can edit it in the YouTube editor. Okay, thank you for watching.